So we've had that successful bread run. Next step is to do a good deep clean before we do that first load of food. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off the gasket. Then we'll go ahead and remove the rack next. When you're removing your rack, you'll pull it out and on the back is this piggy tail. And it's got this little button here that you're gonna push down and pull out. And then I'm just gonna set my rack on a table so we can clean the drum. As I'm cleaning the drum, I like to take the pigtail and kind of tuck it up here on the door. So that way the end of that pigtail is gone. I also don't have my machine plugged in right now. Um, just to make sure you don't shock yourself, that would not be a good thing. So always unplug your machine when you're gonna be messing with that pigtail and be doing a good cleaning job. I am simply using some Dawn um, Ultra Platinum dish soap in some hot water with a microfiber dish rag that also has like the mesh on the back. And I'm gonna go ahead and just scrub really well the whole inside drum all the way around the back. I'm gonna wash off the pigtail cord as well um, before we start putting stuff back in. I've poured some 70% isopropyl alcohol into a spray bottle, and I'm simply just gonna spray everything in here. You don't wanna breathe this in. Don't get your face in there as you're spraying. But really spray that down, spray the pigtail, and then I'll get in there next with my little microfiber cloth and just dry that up. Once I've wiped up the inside of the drum, I'm also just gonna take this that's soaked in that isopropyl alcohol and just rub this whole rim down with the isopropyl alcohol and grab my pigtail too, take that binder clip off and rub it down all the way back so it's been rubbed down with isopropyl alcohol. And I also take that same rig then and come to my door and just wipe the inside of the door down with that same isopropyl alcohol. So let's go clean the rack and the gasket. This water bottle brush with a good, thick, uh, sturdy handle on it is one of my favorite tools. I'll use this along with my washcloth and soapy water, and I can get this in between here with that on it. Notice it may not be long enough this way, but this way I can use this water bottle brush to get all the way across the rack and get everything clean. So wipe the top down really well, wipe down the back really well. I'll pick it up and I'll wipe down the underside really well also, but I'm first gonna clean between each rack. Just like the inside of my machine, I'm going to use the isopropyl alcohol to clean the tops and my trays. I'm just gonna use a little rag. I pour some straight on here, so that way I get the whole rag soaked with it. And again, wipe the top. You're gonna to wanna to wipe the sides, the bottom. So my rack is clean. I'm gonna take my dominant hand and replace the pigtail, making sure that this um, plastic rubber bandy gasket's in place. You don't wanna lose that. Push that in until it clicks. And then as you push this in, you wanna pull the pigtail up under the top of your rack. As you put your rack back in, you will wanna pull the pigtail up on top of it. So that way, you can pull on that pigtail to keep it coming, sliding forward on top of your rack so it's not behind your rack, preventing it from going all the way into your freeze dryer. I'm gonna level that out. I'm even gonna take my um, cloth again with the alcohol on it and rub down that tray a little bit. So my cloth that's soaked in rubbing alcohol again, just grabbing that gasket, going all the way around it, inside and out any germs on that gasket and then we'll slide that back into place when these are new they're a little bit harder to slide into place as these get broken in they slide super easy and you almost have to pull them back out in order to get a seal on your machine it's a 
little trickier when they're brand new. And then once you have that on, you should be able to get your door to close and seal. It is super important. It doesn't need to be a lot of space. But there needs to be space between your rack and the gasket. Up here, not as big a deal. The gasket, the rack is actually too short. The gasket could go beyond it and be okay. But down here, it's pretty close on my rack and gasket, but it's not touching, so we should be good to go. And the last thing you wanna make sure of is that when you shut your door and it's locked, fully locked, that you are getting this black ring, which I don't have a complete one right now, so I probably have the right side of my gasket pushed in too far. So I'm gonna open the door back up, pull that gasket out just a little bit, using my fingers just to loosen it forward, push it back closed, and now I have a full ring all the way around. So I would be ready to plug my machine in and get ready to do my next load. Thank you so much for joining me on Adventures in Freeze Drying. I know this pro large machine is going to be a game changer for me. Can't wait to share with you the things I'm going to do with it.